Good morning guys and welcome for another video. We are back in the province and if you are wondering where Zoe is, she's actually drying her hair. <laughs> she's getting ready. But um, we only came here in the province to run some errands. The main plan today is we're going to go to my main city. We're going to show you how we get around there because we don't have a car, we don't have a bike here. So we always commute if um, my aunties and my cousins aren't free. So we're probably going to commute and then get a tricycle or... Uh, and uh, motor cab. So let's go. All right, babe. What's the plan? We need to get a tricycle. You can get that one there. What? What's that? Look at Go me. Multi cab. Alright guys, we have to get another try to go to the place where we want to go. We are going to Mang Inasal because I'm craving Mang Inasal. So let's go. Alright guys, we haven't been to Mang Inasal for ages. I think it was before Japan. Yeah, before Japan. And you know why I love Mang Inasal? It's the unlimited rice. He wants to do the rice challenge. I don't want to do it with him, so if you want him to do it, comment down below. Yeah. No, I'm gonna do it now actually, so I'm gonna no, see. You're not. Are you? I'm gonna practice, I'm gonna practice. See how many rice I can do, just so that I know. Alright, so I got my pass. So to know which plate is unlimited, the plate is green for unlimited rice. And Zoe's one is white. And we also ordered some sabao. And that's it's free. And it's unlimited. Ooh. Ooh, and that is soup. Oh, it's so nice. You got the uh, soy sauce and some oil. You got your calamansi. Then we just eat. So let's start listening. I'm getting so full. And that was only my second portion of rice. But that second portion that was huge, man. He gave me. He gave me. I I can't. That's three. Anyway, this wasn't really a challenge, so it was a little practice just to see, just to see where I can get to. You're gonna do rubbish. You're gonna fail. Ma'am, where are we going, ma'am? <laughs> so we're on our back. We're just walking towards where we dropped off our laundry yesterday. Yeah. And yeah, it's our favourite. Every time we come back here in the province, we always go there to get them to do our laundry. And it's super cheap. And they yeah. always, they're so nice. They always write a little message on our laundry. Yeah, but this time we normally put like about just under five kilos laundry to get washed. You won't believe but how much I was this time. Twenty kilos worth of laundry. <laughs> and it only costed us five hundred pesos, and they fold it up and everything. But anyway, let's go and pick it up. Two hours later. So what we have got here is oops, hold on, let me show you guys. Look at that beauty. Mm. It's basically a kakanin. I've never had a full-on kakanin before, have you? Never, and this is like a full-on platter. Like, yeah. There's a lot here, and this is like a Christmassy kind of mm. desserts, right? So I'm so excited. Got this at my province here in Kalibo. It is called Jex Kakanin. I'll put all the contact details of Jex Kakanin down below in the description. Let's get started and devour this. Let's eat. Alright, let's open this up. Oh my god. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Alright guys, so I've unwrapped it and it looks absolutely amazing. I can smell the coconut mm. and Basically, the question is, what is kakanin? But I actually did search it up. It's basically a type of rice cake. It can be any kind of food item made from rice that has been shaped, condensed, or otherwise combined into a single object. 
Christmas. And this is something, do you, did you have this at Christmases or no? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Christmas and then there's loads of different types of kakanin, I think. And I think it's a delicacy here in the Philippines. I've never seen it anywhere else, to be fair, but it looks amazing. It's so colourful as well. Yeah. I'm most excited for the ubi one because I love ubi. The shop even gave us like uh, this diagram so we know what everything is. I think I'm going to start it off with kuchinta because I actually love kuchinta. I've had it before. What's kuchinta? It's basically um, a rice cake with coconut, is but this, this one, it looks like it's got cheese in it. Cheese? Yeah, it's this one here. The orange one? Yeah, this one. Oh gosh, this it's so is wobbly. Basically, kuchinta. Mm. But anyway, let's try it. Mm. That was like ASMR. Is it good? Mm. Yeah, so nice. Does it's it have some... a flavour because it's orange? It's a bit... It's quite sweet and then you get the flavour of that cheese. Just a hint of cheese. It's not that much cheese. Not too strong. Not too sweet, it's just perfect. I find it quite strange here in the Philippines that you add like cheese to very sweet mm. things. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but... Right. Oh, it's cold. Mm. It smells kind of weird. Mmm, it's actually really refreshing. You like it? It's nice, isn't it? Mm. Mm. It's very gooey and like squishy, but like. Sticky, isn't it? Like, isn't it? <laughs> like it's just like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not too sweet. Oh, I like it. Not too rich as well. It's one of those things like I feel like I want more. Yeah. Not like when you start, mm. you just have to keep on going basically. Mm. I think we should go for the one that's in the middle because it's like open now that we've got a pathway to the middle thing nice. and it's also got cheese. So the one in the middle is called Pitchy Pitchy. It sounds like something from Japan. <laughs> you know, like mo mochi mochi. No, mochi mochi. <laughs> I've never had this, I've never heard of it before. It's green. It's green. Oh, it's kind of hard to like. Is it? Get it off. This one also has cheese on it. Right. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 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 -mm. Mm -hmm. Is that nice? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, please. What? Oh my god. Is it nice? I want some. I feel like it doesn't taste like how it looks. How it looks. It's actually like way sweeter than the other one. Oh, I really? thought it'd be very similar. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be like. Plain. I think it's coconut. You think? Let's give. Let's mm. give it a go. Oh, I love that. Mmm. Mmm. Right. Yeah. That's really good. You can taste. It's more sweeter than kuchinta. Mmm. More coconut. And then the cheese. I can't really taste the cheese because mm. like. But it's it, like again, the coconut's like overpowering the cheese. But it's not like, although it's overpowering the cheese, it's not like a super overpowering coconut flavour either. It's not like mm. super sweet. It's really like subtle coconut, but I love that. I love coconut. That's that's good, right? It is nice. But you're going for more as well. I can't be cute. That's not cute, that's just what babies do. <laughs> mm. Mm. What would you rate that, you think? Ten. Ten? Yeah. Ten, straight away. That's incredible. Oh God. Alright guys, Zoe so wouldn't stop eating the pitchy pitchy. We still got like quite so a lot. to try and I'm still eating this. <laughs> it's honestly it's so delicious. I've genuinely eaten half of it. So which one should I go for? I know this is ube. I'm not sure what this one is. I think that's sapin sapin. Is that sapin sapin? Then that this must be ube sapin sapin, no? And this looks sure similar to that breakfast thing. Mm. So I'll probably go for this one. Mm. Let's see. Uh, let's see what this one is called. Oh, this is called. Bibinka. Bibinka. No, Bibingkang. Bibing. Bibingkang malakit. Bibingkang malakit. Bibingkang malakit. It looks like glutinous rice. Right, look at this. It's guys. Why is that focusing? Yeah, like that. Ah! Yeah, like that. Ah! Ah! Five second rule. But anyway, Bibingkat malakit. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Good? Is it like the breakfast that comes mm. in the in the mm. banana leaf? No? Mmm, this is like so you got the rice cake at the bottom and then you got the um I think it's coconut sugar on the top that is a bit that's been melted and burnt because you can taste the smoky smoky flavour. Smoky coconut. 
Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I like it, but I'd say that's my least favourite so Oh, far. really? I get what you mean about that burnt flavour. But yeah, I like that too. Oh, I'd give that maybe like a seven. You think? Mm. Next one, we've tried three, so we're halfway there. I want Ube. Oh, you're going to give them Ube. Ube sapping sapping. Mm. Let's go for it, guys. Right, let's go for it. You know me, I love Ube. Zup. Especially Ubi ice cream. She can literally sit in the corner by herself with a tub of ice cream. It has to be Ube Don't and she can finish it. Don't expose me like that. Don't expose <laughs> me like that. I've never had Sapin Sapin before, by the way. I've had Kuchinta, but... So this is Sapin Sapin. It's obviously purple because it's Ubi. And then I think that's like some kind of flakes, maybe coconut on the top. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? Same texture as these two. Mm -hmm. A little bit more sticky. And then, especially after, like now I finish it, I can taste even more ubi, but it's really subtle, but really nice. But I think I'd give that maybe a nine out of 10. I still think that's my favorite. Still the picture pitches. Mm. Picture pitch is the real favorite. Mm. Okay, let's give this sap and sap a go. First time trying sap and sap, by the way, guys. And I'm a Filipino, so. Mm. Yeah, the ubi is like coming now, but it is very sticky and gooey. <laughs> it's stuck it's quite hard to <laughs> chew, to be honest. Mm. Not too sweet again. Quite perfect. Mm. It's, it's nice, again. right? It's quite... Like, the ubi flavour is like delayed. It comes after like 10 seconds. Mm. It's like a, a sticky mousse. Yeah, kind of. I, I really like that though. Next one, plain sapping sapping mm. is what it said on the type diagram. But let's give this one a go. But look, there's more ube. Oh my god. It's actually ube. I yeah, so the like... original sapping sapping has got ube on the bottom, I know oh. I read. And then they've made like a completely look ube. At that. that looks incredible. Alright, so as you can see there, you can see the ube and the plain sapping sapping. I didn't know that. I thought it was just plain, I thought there was no ube. But let's give this a go. Mm. Very sticky. But let me tell you what I can taste. I can taste a little bit of jackfruit. No. Mm. Really? I can't taste the ubi whatsoever, but I can taste the jackfruit. Surely it's a bit not. weird, isn't it? I've never had this before. Give it a go. Mm. Can you taste it as well? Definitely something fruity there. Yeah, there's a really subtle taste of something. Oh, uh, of something. Yeah, it does taste similar to jackfruit. Mm. Let us know, guys. Is there jackfruit in sap and sapping? I'm quite surprised that I can't mm. taste the ube. Okay. But leave a comment down below mm. if there's actually jackfruit in sap and sapping, because we are confused. Confused.com. Confused.com. We are left to our last one. It looks pink, isn't it? I'm not sure what it is. It looks more like the more like rice. You think? It looks like sapping sapping, but a different flavour. A different flavour, probably. I'm not sure what this is. What flavour do you think this is, guys? Like what fruits are pink? Dragon fruit. Oh, maybe. Uh, Watermelon. No, that's red. Like you can see, it's pink there, and then it's a bit brownie, coconut rice. I'm not sure. Glutinous rice, and then a little bit of shavings on the top. I'm not sure if it's dragon fruit or not, but leave a comment down below, guys, what you think it is. Right, let's give it a go. Oh, oh it's stuck to the spoon. <laughs> oh, he's confused. I'm so confused, what the hell? Is it just a jackfruit as well? Mm. It's very chewy. I, wish, I don't know if you can hear the sounds I'm hearing right now. <laughs> it's like squelching. <laughs> <laughs> but I can taste a little bit of cheese, but probably because of the shredded cheese mm. probably got in it. But it just tastes like plain. Oh really? Not mm. much flavour? Not much flavour. So I'm not sure what the um, this pink one is. Mm. I'm really not sure what it is. It just tastes like glutinous rice. Right? Mm. You can't really taste anything. Mm. But the texture's really good. I'd give that maybe 6.5. Because mm. there's think not much flavour. Mm. That's my uh, least favourite out mm. of all the six. Mm. If I had to put them in order, I'd say the Pitchy Pitchy was my favourite, then the Ubi Sapin Sapin, then the normal Sapin Sapin, the 
Cucurinho. Cucinta. Cucinta. Then the bibingkang. Bibingkang. Malik. And then this something's happened. Mm. But overall, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, so. So. It's actually quite feeling. We're not even halfway, but we need to finish this mm. at some point. Um, my favorite is actually the bibingka mm -hmm. because. You've always had, you've always I've had always, that. ever since I was little, I've always liked this kind of stuff. That's the one that I have actually tried before, guys. Mm. I've tried this one before. But that tastes different to the one that we normally get. Zara normally gets one for like breakfast. Mm. It comes wrapped in a banana leaf, but it tastes way sweeter than this one. And this one's got more of like a burnt taste to mm. it, but it's a nice burnt taste. It doesn't like actually taste burnt, but like it's just a smokiness. Mm. So for me, Bibinkang is the, the first one. Mm -hmm. And then pitchy pitchy, mm. and then kuchinta, and then I put the ube next to it, and then the plain sapin sapin, and then the other pink sapin sapin that doesn't taste like anything. If you are in Kalibo area and you're wanting this, this costs 550 pesos for this big platter. And I mean, this could feed a lot of people. This would be great for a party or for Christmas. So if you mm. want to grab one, we'll put the information in the description box. So guys, we're going to end the video there. Um, we're going to try and finish this mm -hmm. behind the scene. Because we probably won't finish it and we'll probably save something tomorrow. No, I think we'll take it round to uh, to your family's house. Mm, they can have some. Because our family live all around here, so. So, um, make sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, press that notification bell on, and, and we will see you in the next one. And have a merry, merry Christmas! <laughs>